Everything we know and love is made of three things, protons, electrons, and neutrons. If you leave protons and electrons alone, nothing will happen to them, as far as we can tell. But not neutrons. If you fill a bottle with neutrons and wait 10 minutes, you'll find that half of them will be gone. In the world of particle physics, this isn't so weird. Particles decay all the time. And of course, they don't turn into nothing. They turn into protons and electrons and neutrinos for extra spice. But it's pretty counterintuitive. After all, the human body is about 45% neutrons by weight. How could complex chemistry possibly happen if neutrons were decaying all the time? The long and short of it is that they don't decay so long as they're in atoms. To explain that will require explaining why they decay in the first place, so here we go. Neutrons and protons are made of quarks. These are, as far as we can tell, fundamental particles that come in six varieties. In ascending order of mass, they are up, down, strange, charm, bottom, and top. A proton is made of two ups and a down, and a neutron is made of two downs and an up. And so just from the order that I gave, it should be pretty obvious that a neutron is heavier than a proton. It's made of heavier stuff after all. And so what that means is that it won't violate mass energy conservation if a neutron were to decay. Decay products always have to be lighter than the thing decaying. In order for a neutron to decay then, it has to turn one of its down quarks into an up quark via the weak nuclear force. Now the details of this interaction are somewhat complicated and involve weak isospin, but we're going to gloss over that for now. Suffice it to say, if it's energetically allowed, then there is a mechanism called a decay channel by which a neutron can decay. But see, I've already given away the game. When neutrons are bound up in a neutron, there's a reason they don't fly off on their own. It's because there are forces keeping them in. Put another way, neutrons in a stable nucleus have less energy than they would have if they weren't in that nucleus. So the calculus changes, and the neutron will no longer have enough energy to decay. One way to see this is that if the neutron decays, necessarily a proton must be produced. But protons are less happy in a nucleus than neutrons are, because they're repelled by other protons. So unless the nucleus has too many neutrons to begin with, swapping a neutron with a proton will cost more energy than the neutron can give up in the decay process. The end result is that neutrons in atoms are stable, whereas when they're free, they only last about 10 minutes. Weird, right? 